Hey, what's up, guys? So, I just got back from Red Brush RC. Uh, they had a TSOC race series um, came through this last weekend. And man, I gotta say, that new layout is awesome, guys. All right, so, um, yeah, I haven't been racing a whole lot this summer. It's been real hot. Um, you know, had some things in some family situations uh, had to deal with here recently. Um, you know, so I'm just kind of getting back into it now. But I've got to say, in this area, the amount of racers that come to the races has just, it's about doubled this year. Um, there's lots of good, fast guys there. Uh, I met a guy this, this weekend at Red Brush named Drew Brownlee. I'd never met the guy before, and, uh, you know, he beat me. So he's a, a new up-and-comer, I guess. Um, he said he's been to Overcast a couple times, which I've only been out there two times. But um, anyway, you know, uh, and something I've just noticed is, like, the competition is just getting really, really, uh, really tight. Everybody's getting, on, you know, everybody that does it does it pretty much week in, week out. And they're all getting a lot better, so... Technology uh, for the buggies is improving, um, you know, with the new body for the Technos, and that's going to be pretty much going across all the truggies, I believe, from the way it looks. Um, you know, emulsion shocks, shock pistons, getting blank pistons drilled. Um, you know, it's hard to keep up with, uh, you know, like... You know, I just haven't been putting the money into these things lately. I've just been kind of running what I've got because I've had so much stuff. Had an ESC that I recently got as a backup for when uh, this one went out, which I don't know if it'll ever go out. This thing is uh, the Hobby Wing SCT ESC. And, man, this thing is just, you know, I've never really had any issues with it except for the fans, but I put one of these uh, metal case fans on it and... No more problems. So. Um, so anyway, we got a race this week here, uh, this weekend rather, at WCRC, my local track, right up the street from me. So I want to get this thing ready. Um, good, good. Uh, the good news there is, um, you know, tires. It ain't as much a tire game as it is everywhere else. Now these are what I ended up on at Red Brush, which these were fugitives that were not as worn as they are now. You know, it was really hot and the track had dried out a good bit, which makes for an abrasive surface, which will wear your soft buggy tires down real quick. But, um, I need to get some new tires, need to get some new wings. I'm running a Mugen wing on here, um, because all the Savox, or I'm sorry, not Savox, all the Serpent ones I bought have broken and failed. These, these Serpent wings break everywhere. They break there, they break here, here. Um... But yeah, I got four new ones like, I don't know, six months ago, which, you know, maybe I should probably get more than that because I do put them on all these different buggies. But anyway, it just gets expensive. So I think I'm going to, um, I'm likely going to sell a couple just and kind of focus on, you know, what I enjoy out of, uh, you know, out of RC racing, which is basically electric buggy racing. And that's pretty much where it is for me right now. So. I think the uh, nitro buggy is going to go. I'll probably put that up for like 500 bucks, ready to run with the uh, the WR7 and uh, R5R Frankenstein motor that I got in it. It's uh it's got R5R head. The case is the WR7 um, DLC coated. Um, I can't remember what all is what, but anyway, it's a combination of both of them. It runs real good. But, um, and it doesn't, ha I had to take a servo out of it this weekend because, um, the JX servos that I'd had in it, I recently took in one out of it to put in my e-buggy. And, you know, I, uh, I'd given good reviews of these servos and they are, I would say, decent for the cost for, you know, for what you're paying for. Um, but for racing, I noticed a big difference when I switched back to my Savox. Which I've only had one save out. Well, I've had a couple of them, but they broke and they were under warranty replacement. So I would get them replaced, so, but I only ever bought one. And uh, so the one I you know, bought or whatever, uh, they gave me two or three replacements now. 
but it's still working. Uh, one day it locked up, uh, turned to the left, so it just locked, and I took it apart. Didn't see anything wrong with it. The motor still worked. Everything worked. Put it back together. It's working good. But as soon as I switched out from this JX, um, this JX lie essentially. Now this servo, you can see right there the numbers claim. Now it might be that fast when you hold it up in the air or something. But that 7.4 volt 32 kg is complete bullshit. <laughs> Because this thing don't have half the power that my Savox, which is 350 uh, ounce inches, which I think is somewhere right around 28 or 29 kg, something like that. Um, it just turned a lot harder. It, you know, it had a whole, a whole lot more holding power, which is something I'm coming to realize is more important than the speed. You know, you know, I look at the speed and I'm like, oh, oh, seven, oh, great, that's fast, right? Well. You know, you're not really getting that if the car can't hold that turning power with, you know, if the power of the servo ain't strong enough to hold that with that speed. <laughs> so anyway, just like I said, um, I would not recommend these JX HV servos for racing. Now they can work in a pinch, you know, and they're not too bad, but there are better servos. And that was about 70 bucks for that. The Savox servo I've run was about 90 bucks. It's the 1271 um sg1271 it's a cordless motor and uh you know it's it's been good like the 2274s are brushless and um you know that would these motors are brushless maybe i could use the motor out of one of these but now i probably wouldn't want to do that because then i would probably lose some power i really don't know but anyway i think i'm gonna stick with savox servos from here on out just because they're tried and true um, you know, I've never heard anybody really with any major complaints of, about Savox, so, I don't know, it just seems like a no-brainer to me. Um, it, now, if I don't end up going that way, which, you know, I'm always flip-flopping on things, I may end up trying out one of the new Nitro Pro servos, or the, or not, I say new, newer, but, or, or one of the, uh, Send It RC servos, because, you know, lots of people have been saying good things about them, I ain't seen anybody rebuilding them you know or any gears breaking so uh, you know and some of the torque claims on those are pretty high i'd like to see one tested actually because these things tested way lower as there was a guy i can't remember his channel name but he tested uh one of the uh, the 12 volt servos they're supposed to be 40 kg or 42 or something like that and it came up way short it was more it was like 290 i think ounce inches so anyway stay away from these if you wanted to be real competitive in your race game, um, everything's a dang mess over here. Got all these axles and stuff out. I'm about to, um, I'm actually, what I'm about to do is find some new pistons to run in my e buggy and rebuild the shocks. So, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna do that with you guys and show you guys what I do to rebuild my shocks. So, all right, let's take a look. <laughs> 